Hello YouTube, this is Jesse from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember, in the last tutorial, we got to this point where we were running the uh, application on, on the physical device and also on the emulator, iOS emulator. And this is actually a pre-build. We, we're using uh, the pre-build, this is not the sandbox, so you remember. That's what we did in the last tutorial, and if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. I, I, I have here the emulator open, just to give you, just to explain something to you the, about the emulators. For the, This is the Android emulator, as you can see, this is not my physical device. In the last tutorial, I was showing you the physical device. If I change anything so let's say i say hello youtube i just want to make sure that you oops that you see what i'm talking about so uh, i save it and then i look at it again uh this one it already changed it for the uh for the android for the ios i have to refresh uh, this is the wrong one. And refresh. And now, hopefully, reload. And now it should work. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Okay. So you know they're both working. But now, I'm going to take this code and hang and be patient with me because there's a reason why I'm showing you this. So now this is the code here that I have. And now you're getting this error saying fail to import NFC manager, NFC supported false. And if we look at the emulator for the Android and we look at the emulator for the hello uh, for the iOS, you can see that it says the NFC module is not available, NFC is not available or not enabled. In here it says whether, it doesn't say whether it's not available, but it says that it's not supported. This is what I was trying to explain to you about emulators. These are emulators. These, they're very powerful, they're, but they use everything they use is through the Mac computer and software installed on that Mac if you're, I'm using a Mac. If you're using Linux or using Windows, same thing. With a physical device, you're actually getting the functionality of the device itself. All of the native modules and all the native functionality in the platform, whether it's iOS or Android, it doesn't matter. And that is a huge difference. And just to prove that point, let me just close this here. And now I'm going to connect, I'm going to bring my device. This is my physical device, Android. And now I'm going to connect it so I can, so it doesn't run on the emulator, but it runs on the, on the, on the actual device. So now I have to, yes, and then I'm going to stop it, stop this server. I already stopped it, so now I'm going to do pre-build again because I changed the code. And now I'm going to run it on Android and it should now run on the device itself. And it's going, it's going. And it's installing. it built so now it's installing it and hopefully it will work and there it goes and you can see it says platform Android NFC supported yes NFC enabled yes ready to scan MC's NFC tags and that's the difference of running it on a device and running it on an emulator and that's why I'm using the Android physical device. 
like I said in past tutorials, if you're doing the, if you have a iOS physical device and you have your Apple account and you have everything, this should be running also on your phys iOS physical device. So it should be working. So that I'm trying to stick to for both platforms, even though I only using the uh, Android physical device. Okay, so now this is time to get into the code and see what what this is just a proof of concept to make sure that it reads the NFC uh, functionality, the NFC manager. And uh, by the way, in order to make this happen, you have to make sure that you do MPX Expo install uh, the manager. And it's this command right here. You just put it on, into your, I'm just gonna, I already installed it, but uh, this is all you need to do. Enter this command, MPX Expo install React Native NFC Manager latest. And it should, uh, because here I'm bringing it through here, instead of uh, using an import, I'm just doing it through the try catch block. But in order for it to work, in order for it to be enabled, it needs to, uh, the emulator, let me close this. It's just gonna confuse you. We're gonna use the physical device. And quit. It's dangling, so it might not go away. Oh, it finally went away. Okay, so let's get back to my, so that's, remember, just use these to make sure it works. I'm going to uh, close this because we're going back to our, our terminal. Did I close both of them? I did. Uh, let's do it again. close this one so which one is which this is the one this I'm going to close that one terminal why is it doing that it's so weird it just closes the whole thing I'm just gonna have to do them individually and just close them Okay, and then that's the test, so that's fine. Let's go back. Okay, so let's start with the code. Uh, here I'm bringing the hooks from the React, the US state hook and the US effect hook. Uh, this is the, for the view, for the text, the styling, the platform, because I'm, I'm, it depends on what platform I'm using. So it's some of it's iOS, some of it's Android, and the button, which I have no buttons yet but I will soon. Here I'm safely importing the NFC manager and making sure that uh, it's not only, as you can see, this is what we need to import because it requires it and it's, it's going to try to bring it in. And if it is not available or if something happens, it's going to tell you, it's going to say here, it's gonna give you a lo uh, console lock telling you that it was, uh, you failed to import it. Function app, this is where the magic happens. This is uh, what defines the main app uh, component or uh, a functional component. It goes, it's basically the whole thing. It goes all the way here, okay? Everything is part of the, the app function. Here is it, where we, basically doing is creating the state object using the use uh, state hook with four properties, supported false, enable, error, and loading. Uh, here we use the use state hook. This is the use effect hook. It's using a sync function, the check NFC. And basically what is, uh, is making sure that it, it's an asynchronous function to check whether 
the NFC capabilities are there or not. Basically, that's what he's doing. He checks he checks if if the NFC manager was successfully imported, and then if not, if it was not uh, imported, it updates the state to indicate that the NFC is not available. Right, so that's what's happening here, and it ends the function right there and then. If not, it's going to say if the device if it's imported, is the device does the device support uh, NFC? So that's the question that is being asked here. Is this supported? And is uh, NFC manager? Da, da, da. Is it? If it's not supported, it's going to tell you here. Here it is supported as a boolean. He's asking, and he says yes, it is supported. It's true. If he realizes that an NFC is supported, check if it's enabled. That's where the checking that I was just talking about. Just because it's supported doesn't make doesn't make it enabled, right? So this is what's happening here. Is it another boolean? Is it enabled? True. Yes, it is. Okay. And if it's enabled, if it's supported, and if it's enabled, then it tries to initialize it. And that's what's happening here. And it's, it's going to, it's an, another a wait, because remember, it's an asynchronous function. It's right there. That's why you, you await, await, and another await. And that's what's happening there. It's going to make sure that you started successfully. And that's what's happening here. If not, it's going to say uh, error checking if NFC is enabled, or it's going to give you a this error. One of them is. So that's what's going to happen. Here is going to make sure that uh, it set the NFC state is it supported. This is what it updates the component state with the NFC check results, uh, and it sets loading to false uh, since the check is complete. And basically, that's what's happening there. Cleans uh, any previous errors. That's uh, making sure that uh, everything is good. And basically, that last one here, here, this one, it calls the check NFC function that is was defined here. And that's what's happening there. And then. This is the cleanup function to make sure that you don't have any pending dangling NFC operations hang, hanging around. So it makes sure that it's, uh, it cleans it up, it ignores any catch, uh, cleanup errors through the catch E. And here, in the effect, this is the from the effect, it only runs once when the component mounts. And uh, basically, uh, it will uh, avoid having issues. So it only runs once. This is the return function. Uh, you see that here I have hello world. This is just was a way for me to check that even though it failed, everything else fails, I know that it's actually working. This is just a debugging step. <coughs> this is just a debugging step that I took to make my life easier. And NFC tag counter, and if these are all from before when I was testing it, is the platform. That's what determines whether the platform is iOS or is the or the platform is Android. <coughs> Excuse me. The error. And now, whether yes or no, this is the Boolean that I asked you before. Ready to scan tags. This is the question that is asking. It's not in here because it's not enabled. That's an emulator, but it is on the physical device. And here are all the styling. It's the style sheet that we brought here. This guy. Now we start using them. Or if you're no React Native or React, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These are the styling, the wrapper, making sure that it's in the center, the color, title, the size of the of the title, is it bold or not? The 
this is this stuff right here as you can see it's bold if um, just so you know if I uncheck it and then do it and then check it again let's do reload and then I you're going to see that it changed the bold there now it's not bold anymore that's what's happening here okay so you know the text error text ready text the colors the font size if you come from react native this is not something that you haven't seen before and here just exporting the, the, app, the app function and that's basically it and now you can see it that uh, is um, it works in the next tutorial where we're going to do I'm gonna show you what the tags that I'll be using I'll show you so you can get them uh, they're not very expensive they're very inexpensive but we'll do that in the next tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time with another tutorial take care